Hello, this is Geert Jan from the NetBeans team. In this quick screencast, we're going to get introduced to using the Samsung Galaxy S6 together with NetBeans. We have a couple of windows open here, the browser DOM and the CSS styles window. I have the Droid to Screen plugin installed into NetBeans so that you can see my device. Those windows you can open by going to CSS styles and browser DOM. Those are the two windows on the bottom left. The Droid at Screen plugin is in the plugin manager, or in fact, in the plugin portal online. You only need this if you want to do something like what I'm doing, a presentation of some kind where you want to show the class your device, or you want to show a conference session your device, because you can't see my mobile phone. You'll be looking at the Droid at Screen window instead, which is not an emulator. It is a reflection of what I'm seeing live on my device. So make sure that the USB tethering is set up and that USB debugging has been set up and then you're good to go. Create a simple HTML application as a starting point just to see how everything works. We'll call it hello and we click finish. And now without doing anything else, we can immediately deploy the application to the Chrome browser on the Android device. This is functionality built into NetBeans. Run the application and what you will see immediately is your content displayed on your device. So this is what I'm seeing on my Samsung Galaxy S6. Next in the browser DOM window in NetBeans click inspect mode in browser. That connects NetBeans to the browser on your device. As you select items in the browser DOM window in NetBeans you will see the related item in the browser being highlighted. Now we change the diff to an H1, we click save, and immediately in the browser we can see the update rendered. Next we will add a style sheet and see what we can do with that. In our style sheet we define that if we have an H1 element, its color should be red. Next we drag and drop the style sheet into our HTML file, we click the save button and immediately we see the update on our device. We've added a whole bunch of extra H1 elements to our HTML document and we can see that when we click items in the browser DOM window, the related item is immediately highlighted back on our device. Also notice that there is a handy GUI window, the CSS styles window, which when we change the color in this window causes a change in the document and that immediately updates our document rendered on our device. Next, let's manipulate where the cursor is found in NetBeans based on what we select inside of our Samsung Galaxy S6. So my thumb is currently on the highlighted item that you see on the right hand side in the Droid Ad screen window. When I select something different directly on my device, so I'm going to select right at the bottom the last H1 element. You will see that automatically in the browser down window there is an update and the last item is selected. In short, NetBeans gives you free and open source tools for working directly on your device with anything you're working on live in JavaScript, CSS and HTML within NetBeans. Now you know how to integrate your mobile devices into your development environment.